So now every bond document has three major components. A face value that gives the purchaser of the bonds that what the bond will pay on maturity, the maturity time, how long it takes for the bonds to actually pay the face value, and then the interest rate that the bond is going to pay. So to understand the relationship between the market interest rate and the price of a bond, let's do an example. And in order to simplify the example, let's assume that this bond pays dividends in perpetuity. In other words, that we don't have a maturity on the bond. So suppose you purchase a bond that has a face value of $1,000 and pay interest rate, which sometimes is called a coupon rate of 4%. So every turn, let's say a year, the bond will pay you an interest payment of $40. Now, one question we'll have is how much would you pay for the bond? Well, clearly you're not gonna pay a thousand because that's exactly what the bond will give you and you're buying it uh, ahead of time and you're definitely not gonna pay more than a thousand. So you're gonna pay something less than a thousand for this bond. Suppose you pay $950 to purchase this bond. Now, at this point that you have the price, you can calculate how effective this bond was at providing a return. We call that the yield of the bond. And we simply calculate by dividing the interest payment by the bond price. So for instance, in this case, you pay $40 for the bond and the bond has a price of $950 that you pay. So you're getting a yield on the bond of 4.21%. And then you can ask yourself, did you pay a good price for the bond? Well, you can't really tell yet because you don't know what was the alternative you have. What could you have done with this money otherwise? And that opportunity cost is given to you by the market interest rate. So suppose the market interest rate was 5%. Well, clearly you did not make a good deal because you could have taken the $950 and put it in the market in a different instrument and you would have collected 5% interest a lot more. So you would have never paid $950 if you have perfect information about everything. So how much money you should have paid? Well, let's say, suppose you have paid instead of $950, you would have paid $900. How much yield the bond would have given you in this particular case? Well, again, you will divide the payment of $40 by the 900 and you will stay get a yield 4.44, which is less than the market interest rate. So clearly the highest price you will pay for this bond will be a price that generates a yield equal to the market interest rate. So what we can do here is to assume that the bond yield will fluctuate depending on the market interest rate. And in this case, to calculate that price, we can simply use the same equation and this time solve it for the bond price which will give you the bond price is gonna be equal to the interest payment divided by the bond yield. And we, for the bond yield, we're gonna use the market interest rate since we're gonna let the yield flow according to the market interest rate. So if we divide the $40, which is the interest payment on the bond, by the market interest rate, which is the bond yield, we're gonna let them fluctuate according to that, it will tell you that you will have to pay a price of $800 for the bond. And if you do that, you will collect a yield on the bond that is equal to the market interest rate. So in this case, there's no reason for you not to purchase the bond. So this gives you a pretty good idea of the relationship between the market interest rate and the price of the bond. If the market interest rate increases, let's say we increase the market interest rate to 8%, then the price of a bond will have to decrease according to the formula. In this case, the price of the bond will be $500. So this is a very important relationship. We're going to come back to it because this relationship is what the U.S. government uses in order to decide their money supply and that way impact the economy. So what you have to remember right now is that interest rates and bond prices move in opposite directions.